Born USA up all night. And we have two incredible, fantastic, exciting films to unite. We have Eating Roll and Getting Lucky. It's sort of a contradiction of terms, isn't it? Well, maybe not. Our first movie discusses what Hollywood is like today. Hey, I remember my very first day in Hollywood. I was on the Santa Barbara soap opera set and dressed for success, ready to make a lasting impression on the director. Nothing was going to stop me. And cut! Nothing but the director. <sighs> Hollywood is a difficult place to work in. If you're not careful, it'll eat you alive. Take a look at our movie, for example, Eating Raul. Rhonda's wearing an outfit that lets her breathe. Everybody take a deep breath. Oh. Thank you, crew. Yeah. When you're down and out in Hollywood, they label you just like I'm labeled your bedtime buddy. In the television soap opera world, this can happen too. I remember once. <sighs> oh, gosh. Don't leave me. I wasn't cruising with crews. Please don't dash off. You. You're trouble. Trouble. With a capital T. T-R-A-S-H. Do you know what that spells? No. But Dash, I love you. I need you. There has never been another man. It's you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You do? Well, oh, come on over. Let's go to my trailer. <laughs> Papa's waiting. I rushed into his arms, not realizing he was serious. And from that moment, my life became a series on the boob tube. Rhonda can say that because I'm Rhonda on USA Up all night. to change. I had it all, and I was willing to lay it on the line. I wanted people to see the real me. <laughs> well, I guess you do. But anyway, I wanted more attention, more publicity, more love. Just like Sally Field in the Paramount film, Soap Tish. Watch. The last Talbert had it all. He has so many people to thank. I hate her so much. Beauty, fame, love. That's a cut. But her life... Next time, could you wear a swimsuit underneath the towel? ...just turned into one big soap opera. I began to think of my soap opera days as another epic of as the stomach churns. See if your stomach doesn't churn when you watch more of Eating Raul on USA. Up! All night. I had to go through a lot before I became known as Rhonda Shear, the USA. Up! All night girl. I remember one day... Extortion letters. I would never do something like that. Just look at this place. Do you think I need any more money? Money? <laughs> oh, money turns me on. <laughs> I love you. On the air. I don't care. I love you. He's not sticking to his line. I love you. <laughs> Work with me, people. This is soap opera. The melting pot of American culture. He's not sticking to his life. No what? This is television. Anything can happen. Take five. couch companion Rhonda had to pay her dues in Hollywood before USA up oh, all night turned her life around. There's something fishy going on here. Climb it, kid. I got a pan full of oysters here and I'm fishing for some pearls, so cough them over nice and easy like, huh? Surely you don't think I'm that kind of girl. What? You're rich, aren't you? And the name ain't, the name ain't Shirley, see? See? See. See? No, I don't think so. And how did you guess my name? Fizzy? I thought that you were eating with Raul. <laughs> I heard 
the writer wants to write me out of the script. No, don't don't panic. But it's not uh, apropos to ask for a raise until you've been here two weeks. Oh, oh, thanks. You're welcome. Well, you just got me right out of that. Whatever I can do. I'm really happy. It's Ron here back on USA Up All Night with A. Martinez, who Hi. plays Cruz Castillo, the hottest guy in all of Soapland. Well, that's debatable, I suppose. No, I, I think it's absolutely the truth. Well, I know. maybe it is. I can't tell. Now, what's it like being Cruz? What's the difference between Cruz and A.? Uh, well, Cruz knows what he's going to do, uh, but he's a little bit dumb. And every time I try to ask him to make him smarter, they say that then all the, the storylines would have to be so short I wouldn't have a job. So I'm happy to be a little bit dumb as Cruz. <laughs> and what about A? You've got two great kids. Well, A's a little dumb too, but it's uh, it's not scripted. I have two great kids, and I have uh, a good home life. Mm -hmm, that's great. Now, you won um, an Emmy. Mm -hmm. And also two Soap Digest Awards. Mm -hmm. Very impressive. Yeah, well, you can fool them sometimes. No, I, it's very exciting. Now, what, now also, I, just, I have to ask this question about the love scenes between you and Eden. The hottest love scenes. What's it like? Uh, well, you know, it's all a matter of uh, working them out in advance, painstakingly, all the hard work we do to make it seem like it's fun, and, uh, you know, learning your lines and trying not to cast shadows. And it's just <laughs> such a drag. It's really imagine. hard on the lips, I imagine. That's true, the bruises and uh, all the uh, teeth marks. and. Uh, Seems like you're holding up just fine. I'm trying. Well, you know, I have a lot of makeup on. So. See, I'm trying not to flirt, but this is becoming rather impossible. So in the meantime, I think we're just going to go back and, and do our thing, in the mean, and uh, I'll get more tips. Could you tell me how to be a soap star? What's the first uh, thing I should do? Well, uh, you got to rehearse. So really? Let's go rehearse. Okay. <laughs> See ya. For some reason, the writer thought it would make the ratings soar to have Rhonda Shear die. <laughs> if I was going out, I wanted to go out in style. Oh, Flame, tell Lionel I know who his real father is. And tell Michael I love him more than life itself. Rhonda Shear? Yes? I'm sorry, but you have to die. I know. <coughs> yes, I promise I'll tell them. Ooh, that was a famous producer, and he's been telling me about a contest spot. If you win, you become a movie mogul. Yeah! I'll tell you more about it after you watch Eating Raul on USA Up all night. In the meantime, I'm going to head over to the set of Santa Barbara to talk to some of my soap opera friends. So come on. USA Up All Night and Nestle's want to make you a movie mogul. Who, me? That's right. Now you can live the shallow, self-centered existence you've always dreamed of. Win Nestle's Movie Mogul Sweepstakes, and you and a guest will jet off to Tinseltown. You'll have use of wheels for an entire week and stay in a fabulous suite reserved at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, where the legend of a movie mogul all began. Time to head to the Paramount Studios for a VIP tour. Pitch your idea for a movie to a Paramount exec, perhaps a sequel to your all-time favorite Up All Night movie. You'll sit in on a creative session with Rhonda and her producers, and then it's out shopping with Rhonda to revamp your mogul wardrobe with $1,000 in spending money. Then it's off to face the paparazzi as you escort Rhonda to the Hollywood premiere of a Paramount film. We'll even supply Nestle's Munchies for the movie. To enter, send a postcard with your name, address, age, and daytime phone number to Nestle Movie Mogul Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. Sound like too much glamour? Enter, but only if you can handle the fame. on the set of Santa Barbara. Oh, it's so exciting back here. Check it out. Wow. We're going to get to meet all those actors later on. In the meantime, Rhonda's life is kind of like a soap opera. And Rhonda has some tips if you want to be a soap opera star. First, one, learn how to imitate life, imitating art, imitating life. Yes. Two, let the director always think he's right so that you are not written out of the script. Rhonda knows that one really well. And three, be prepared to 
cast, the majority of the cast, and all soap operas, each character has numerous affairs. <laughs> Rhonda likes that. Now, let's take a look and see what kind of affairs Mary and Paul are having and eating Raul on USA up all night. Ooh, I love this place. USA up all night saga of sex and rock and roll continues right here at the Santa Barbara set. They shoot here every day, five days a week, all year long. There are three directors who rotate, 15 writers and a total of 20 actors. Wow! Which makes this the hottest soap opera today. When we come back, I'll take you backstage in the maker room to talk to some of these stars. In the meantime, you should watch this commercial. It has a storyline all of its own. here on USA Up All Night, and I'm speaking with Karen Moncrief, who plays Cassandra on Santa Barbara. What's that like? Mm -hmm. how, just tell me, how devious are you being right now? She's the most devious. Actually, right now, she's sort of on a, on a down slope, but she's been really bad. Really bad with <laughs> she's men? She's rid of about three of her fr best friends from all of her life, and um, she's done some bad things. She's manipulated quite a few people. Ooh, now, is this very close to the way you are, Karen? You look so sweet. Oh, my gosh. Well, I hope not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, inside of all of us, there's that little devious female thing going on. No, 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 you, you no I'm a pretty straight shooter. <laughs> you wore another soaps before Santa Barbara. Yeah, I did a year on Days of Our Lives, and I've done some shorter stints on other soaps, Bold and Beautiful, Guiding Light. So how is this different? Well, it's, uh, the writing's wonderful on the show, and um, it's, I think the whole ensemble feeling of, of the cast is, is maybe more in place. And, um, and you're up to your one-year yeah, anniversary like soon. Yeah, and, and my character is really fun to play because she is bad. She is, yeah. you know, she is so different from... You have that blonde. brunette bad look. You know, that, why is that? You know, they think blondes are sweet and brunettes are bad. <laughs> I, want, I don't know. <laughs> what, what is that? We're women. We're all bad. Now, one other question I'm going to ask you. You're a former Miss Illinois. I read. Oh, no. Who there's, told there's, there's nothing to matter with that because I'm a former Miss Louisiana. Now, do you ever all use right. all of that? Do you ever use, does any of that beauty queen smile, Vaseline on the teeth thing ever come into play here? You know what? I guess it's sort of, that training is so ingrained that you never really get rid of it. But I, ooh. God. No, it's I'm great. I love it. I wish we had a crown here. We could put both of them on. Yeah. <laughs> no, <please. laughs> Hi, Mom. We're going to see more of Karen Moncrief. In the meantime, when Rhonda comes back, do you know what we're going to have? Rhonda personalized look at the movie. Yes, the Miller Genuine Draft movie moment. In the meantime, we're going back to Eating Raul. Now, there's a classic for you, huh? We're talking devious. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Thank you. Hi, it's Rhonda here on USA Up All Night, and I'm talking to my friend Karen, who plays Cassandra on Santa Barbara, the devious Cassandra. Now, I was just telling her about Rhonda's personalized look at the movie, yes, the Miller Genuine Draft Movie Moment, which we're going to go to right now. Now, Karen, could you do me a big favor? You could you just hold us for one second? You want me to take off my pants, too? Raul. And then maybe you'd like me to take off your pants. Raul, I agreed to see you because I think that we should discuss what happened the other night. Yeah. That's all I've been thinking about for three days. It was a mistake. That's all. Mary, Mary, quite the contrary. I'll tell you how your garden grows. If you play nurse and don't prepare for the worst, that little toy will leave you with a baby boy. Mary, you've got to try harder to live up to your name. I'm out of here. I don't want you to think that it could ever happen again. I'm not about to risk my marriage for the sake of some low animal attraction. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Yes, Mary paid as much attention to me as you are going to pay to these, uh, these commercials. Now, Karen, you're sitting here. You've been wonderful. But don't you have to go to the set? Just you've got like 40 me. pages of dialogue that you've memorized last <laughs> night. I'm off. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great shoot today. Oh. Rhonda loves it here in Soapland.
It's Rhonda here, and I'm in the makeup room of Santa Barbara, and exciting things are going on in here. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Television characters are nothing like the people who portray them. Remember Joan Collins from Dynasty? She's been fighting that image ever since with the press. I am nothing like that character, damn it. Now, Paramount's movie Soap Dish has a character just like that, too. Watch. There's the greedy actress. I cannot be the villain forever. I'm... I'm sweet. I'm tender. I'm a victim. The sex star producer. You do want me, don't you, David? In the weirdest way. And you know what you have to do. <laughs> now, let's see what else is going on in the makeup room of Santa Barbara. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Gordon Thompson. <gasps> Hi. I'm Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. I'm not starstruck or anything, but I am kind of in love with you for Thank a long you. time. Now, you're on the USA Network now, but this isn't your first time. <laughs> Is it not? No, you, you did the Ray I'm Bradbury. Not a no, ah. you did the Ray Bradbury so Theater. Did. did you know that? Yes, I did. <laughs> I had a good time, too. You did. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy that was in New Zealand. But let's talk about you and me. No, let's just talk about you are so well studied, and you say that this character, Mason, mm -hmm. is different from Adam Carrington. Yes, he is. He has humor. Yes, he does, actually. Yes. Not a lot today, but yes, he does have a lot of humor. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Could you do that again? <laughs> no, I couldn't. So, how is he different? Um, Mason is basically uh, more honest than Adam was. Adam was, I think, truly amoral. Adam didn't give a flying whatever it was as long as he got ahead. Oh, hurt me. Now, Mason, on the other hand, has a crusader's spirit inside him. Oh. You know. Are you in love right now? I mean, on television. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but she won't have me. She won't? No. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> We're just going to keep this at, at another level, but in the meantime, will you have to go back to our incredible film? Which incredible film is that? Eating Raul. <laughs> Eating. Eating Raul. Yes. Oh, okay. I think, look out there look out and there. give my viewers a treat. <laughs> Eat your heart out! <laughs> <laughs> It's Rhonda here on USA up all night, and I'm speaking to Gordon Thompson, who is really Mason and Capo. All right, I've got to ask you what everyone wants to know about the love scene. Do you enjoy it? <laughs> yes, I do. It depends on who you're having love scene with. I had one with Karen Moncrief about three months ago. It was oh, she's gorgeous. On, isn't she beautiful? Oh. Ardent, too. Um, it got a little violent. It was nice. It was fun. You can't go too far, not even on dates. Was that expected to be violent, or did it just happen? We, we fooled around a little bit and found out what we thought might work. <laughs> That's what you do. Oh, well, what about the makeup and the lipstick? How did it stay on? <laughs> okay. It's just okay. <laughs> oh, I'm just so jealous. I'm going to do... Well, we'll be back. We're going to commercial. Um, We're going to just... Let's talk about that violent kind okay. of thing. The violent kind of thing? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, my... We have to stand up here. Okay. We have to stand up stand here. Come on. Oh, my right. gosh. Right. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that Gordon Thompson, is he hot or what? He plays that Mason Capwell, and he likes to have hot, steamy, passionate love scenes with those green eyes. Yes, and that great hair and that great voice. Oh, Rhonda would just love to be a soap star. No, 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 I'm sorry. I forgot who, who and where I was. I'm Rhonda, your bedtime buddy in USA. Ah! All night, and I'm rooting for you to be the winner of our Nestle Movie Mobile Sweepstakes. Yes, if you win, you'll arrive in Hollywood, and you'll have the chance to pitch a brilliant movie idea to a big producer. Yeah, yeah. Rhonda remembers something we came up with a brilliant idea once. Hmm. Three days after I thought my career had ended, the lover boy came to my rescue. I can't have you die. Without you in my life, I, I have no life to live. Oh, it's already happened. America has seen me die. There's nothing that we can do. <laughs> yes, but where's my motivation? My drive? Try a limo service. Hmm. I'm going to have to talk to the writer and my agent. So he talked with the writer, and within one week, I was back on the set. I love Hollywood magic. Hey, I wonder if the writer of Eating Raul will kill off Paul or Raul first. Let's take a look. We'll find out. Hmm. 
USA up all night and Nestle's want to make you a movie mogul. You me? That's right. Now you can live the shallow, self-centered existence you've always dreamed of. Win Nestle's Movie Mogul Sweepstakes, and you and a guest will jet off to Tinseltown. You'll have use of wheels for an entire week and stay in a fabulous suite reserved at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, where the legend of a movie mogul all began. Time to head to the Paramount Studios for a VIP tour. Pitch your idea for a movie to a Paramount exec, perhaps a sequel to your all-time favorite up all night movie. You'll sit in on a creative session with Rhonda and her producers, and then it's out shopping with Rhonda to revamp your mogul wardrobe with $1,000 in spending money. Then it's off to face the paparazzi as you escort Rhonda to the Hollywood premiere of a Paramount film. We'll even supply Nestle's money cheese for the movie. To enter, send a postcard with your name, address, age, and daytime phone number to Nestle Movie Mogul Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. Sound like too much glamour? Enter, but only if you can handle the fame. about writers. You can't live with them and you can't act without them. If they decide one day they don't like you, they just bump you off just like that. Jack, well, swing on this. I guess that means that eating Raul is coming to a conclusion too. Stay tuned because when we come back, Ron is going to show you more behind the scenes action on the Santa Barbara set. Yes. Oh, it's Rhonda here, back and backstage on the set of Santa Barbara. And I just love the hair and clothes that they all wear. Not exactly Rhonda-ish, but it's still great. Actually, some of them have more moose than Rhonda. Anyway, eating Raul ended on a tender note. Ooh, and it just goes to show you what you can do with cheap meat. Now, speaking of cheap meat, next week we have some real chewy tails. Chewy tails. <laughs> yes, you want to help me with this? Rude girl. <laughs> Oh my God, he touched me. He touched me. And the, oh, wait, okay, wait. Uh, where was I? Uh, Gordon Thompson touched me. Okay, thank you. American Driving, we're going to be showing next week. And Hamburger, the motion picture. But now stay tuned for Getting Lucky. Yeah, I might do that later. Anyway, a once in a lifetime experience that will remind you of your first love. And love is sure to be on the Santa Barbara set as well. So stay up all night with Rhonda and learn how you might win a date with me. We could be getting lucky right now. Ron is going to go try for that right now. See ya. <laughs> oh, no. Where is that Gordon Thompson? Where did he go? Anyway, it's Rhonda here, your cuddly couch companion on USA Up All Night. And for those of you who watch soap operas, you already know the general storyline. He loves her, she loves him, and he loves somebody else. Yeah. Now, behind me, you can see what's going on. Yes, the plot is sickening. They're rehearsing, and that's the one thing Bill needs to do when it comes to girls. He should take some time and figure out a game plan. Now, why don't you take some time and figure out this commercial? Oh, Gordon! Gordon! Mason. directors over there. You know what? Directors are like traffic cops. They make things happen. They motivate the actors. They put them in the right place and they can make stars out of you. Or me, a soap star. Oh, Mason, I love you. I need you. I have to have you. Now. Oops. <laughs> I just keep getting carried away with that Mason thing. <laughs> anyway, in the meantime, I think we should go back and, and watch Getting Lucky. Whew. Um, right now. Oh, Mason. I'm ready for you now. Mason, I'll never cheat on you, never. <laughs> it's your lovable legend of the 90s here on USA Up all night. When the director calls for action, you know Chrissy will get some. That girl is getting lucky all the time. I'm on my way over to the Santa Barbara wardrobe area because if anyone knows fashion, I do. Here's a little hint. It's fashionable to watch these commercials. Oh, hi, it's 
salon to hear your fashion fantasy on USA up all night. Look at all the clothes that the Santa Barbara cast has to choose from. Isn't this great? I bet they never wake up in the morning and hate everything in their closet. I bet you there's some lingerie in here somewhere. Ah, that's another show. In the meantime, let's take a stroll down Fantasy Lane. Still here. I thought you were. Oh no! This show's fast becoming nine lives to live, <laughs> and I like that. Anyway, I'm sitting with Shel Danielson, and Rhonda likes that. Yes, because you play the fabulous Lakin Lockridge. Tell me about Lakin. Lakin right now is fast becoming a daredevil. She bungee jumps. She uh, <laughs> dives out of airplanes. She drives race cars. She gets to get grease all over her face. It's great. This is, yeah, it's fun. Well, you're originally from California. Yes, so I am. So you're a California girl. Yes. <laughs> you're used yes, to that. that. Well, not used to that, but... <laughs> kind of. I was more the type who carried a six-foot purple paisley surfboard around when I was a teenager. Oh, gosh. Every oh. guy's fantasy. And then you then you moved to New York, and you're yes. a, a model with Wilhelmina. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how, how is that very different? Because you're posing and... Um... Modeling is very different. It was also very much like acting in front of a camera because you, you got to portray all these different characters that you really weren't. Oh, that must have been fun. So that was always fun. New York's kind of a different place to live. Very different. <laughs> so this very is, different. You're making your one-year anniversary, or are you just May 18th. Ooh, how exciting. Yeah. Now, do you have lots of lovers on the show? No, I have your one very faithful, steady boyfriend. So you're the, the good girl? Yes, very good. Darn. I know. Can't get any good in the scoop. <laughs> So you have any have any tips for me because I'm I'm trying to become this this soap star. Any tips, you know? Oh, well, let's see, let's see. Make sure you listen to your director. Make sure. It's very important. Darn, I hate that bit of advice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, maybe you can help me because we're going back to a fabulous movie right now okay. called Getting Lucky on USA. Up oh, all night. Can you say up oh, all night? Up oh, all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> USA up all night, and Nestle's want to make you a movie mogul. Who, me? That's right. Now you can live the shallow, self-centered existence you've always dreamed of. Win Nestle's movie mogul sweepstakes, and you and a guest will jet off to Tinseltown. You'll have use of wheels for an entire week and stay in a fabulous suite reserved at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, where the legend of a movie mogul all began. Time to head to the Paramount Studios for a VIP tour. Pitch your idea for a movie to a Paramount exec, perhaps a sequel to your all-time favorite Up All Night movie. You'll sit in on a creative session with Rhonda and her producers, and then it's out shopping with Rhonda to revamp your mogul wardrobe with $1,000 in spending money. Then it's off to face the paparazzi as you escort Rhonda to the Hollywood premiere of a Paramount film. We'll even supply Nestle's money cheese for the movie. To enter, send a postcard with your name, address, age, and daytime phone number to Nestle Movie Mogul Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. Sound like too much glamour? Enter, but only if you can handle the fame. It's Rhonda here in USA, up all night, and I'm sitting next to David Jordan, who does the wardrobe for Santa Barbara. Now, David, can I ask you a question? Yes. Does Gordon Thompson wear colored underwear? <laughs> <laughs> yes, multicolored. Uh, oh, my goodness. Uh, paisleys and then, and then, and then uh, all, all kinds of mosaic prints. That is so incredible. Oh, hot flashes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now, I'll just try to move along now. Um, who's your favorite person to dress? Who's the sexiest? Oh, on the male side? Yeah. Oh, that would be definitely your, be your Gordon. Definitely. Do you match his, the clothes of this, those eyes, those green piercing eyes? I guess you wouldn't know. Well, that. no, I, I never <laughs> saw the green piercing eyes. I, uh, but we do match his clothes very well. Yes, you do. They fit perfectly. Those inseams are perfect. Now, what about on the female side? Who's hot? Oh, well, that would be absolutely flame. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. She dressed like me? You dress her like me? The only red. Oh, all red. All yeah. red. Now what would you what would you do like with you. me, David? What would you do? Uh, 
<laughs> There's nothing I could do with you. I don't, I don't know. I love this man. <laughs> I love this man. You can dress me anytime. And in the meantime, when we come back, we're going to take a look at Rhonda's personalized look at the movies. Yes, Tony may have gotten Chrissy's attention, but he still isn't getting lucky. <laughs> Rhonda's going to help him out. Will you help me out? Oh, right oh, oh, right this way. Sure, into the darkness of the clothing. <laughs> Where are those underwear of Gordon Thompson's? The wardrobe man told me they were paisley and multicolored. I know they're in here somewhere. Uh, hi, it's Rhonda here on USA. Oh, and I just looking for something. But I promised that I would help Tony with what he likes best. So watch and learn with this Miller Genuine Draft Movie Moment. Tony, what are you thinking? Your body is your temple. Don't serve it like John McEnroe. If you get too mad when things don't go your way, you just won't score big. Now come on, keep your eye on the ball and drive it home. With that last hit, I think Tony came close to biting the dust. But the Empire called it, and I'm calling this commercial. Rhonda here in USA, up all night. I am in the wardrobe room of Santa Barbara, standing next to all these pumps. Oh, and Rhonda's getting all pumped up over it. Wow, Imelda Marcos would have really liked it in here. But look over there, there's some galoshes up there. And this is the 90s. You have to remember to wear your rubbers. <laughs> well, anyway, wrap me up and cuddle me tight. This is Rhonda in USA, up all night. <laughs> and Rhonda has a Help Me Rhonda letter that I want to share with you. And it's from... Hmm, let me see. It's from Nick Owen of Paris, Texas. And I want to read it in my southern accent so you'll feel at home, Nick. Dear Rhonda, they say that Paris is the city of love and Texas is the state of money, so I shouldn't have any problem finding what I'm looking for. But the truth of the matter is I want to meet you and be your bucking bronco. There ain't nothing but cows and oil spills where I come from. Help me, Rhonda. Well, Nick, you could saddle up and steer yourself down to L.A., all night and Nestle is having a great contest that any cowboy can participate in. Now, let's talk about getting lucky and watch more on USA Up oh, all night. I'll see you backstage. And Nick, wherever you are. A blonde bombshell who doesn't listen to the director is written out of the script. And that's how Rhonda became known as your bedtime buddy. On USA. Up all night. It's a run day on USA. Up all night. Now, Bill should watch what he does in public. You know why? Because if you take out the L, you're on dangerous turf. And Bill doesn't even know the proper social etiquette yet. Bill's in somewhat of a hairy situation when you say if he does something stupid he's going to feel mighty small <laughs> now let's see how how his luck is running and getting lucky on USA up all night <laughs> my cameraman smiling at me I must have done that one right <laughs> if you have a movie idea that you think would go over well you should enter our contest spot remember if it's hot it's Rhonda and if it's Rhonda it's LA up all night now it's time for commercial Stay up all night. And before I forget, don't forget to watch Gilbert Godfrey tomorrow night. He's kind of wild, he's kind of crazy, but he's Gilbert. But now it's time to go back to my show.
USA up all night and Nestle's want to make you a movie mogul. Who, me? That's right. Now you can live the shallow, self-centered existence you've always dreamed of. Win Nestle's Movie Mogul Sweepstakes, and you and a guest will jet off to Tinseltown. You'll have use of wheels for an entire week and stay in a fabulous suite reserved at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, where the legend of a movie mogul all began. Time to head to the Paramount Studios for a VIP tour. Pitch your idea for a movie to a Paramount exec, perhaps a sequel to your all-time favorite Up All Night movie. You'll sit in on a creative session with Rhonda and her producers, and then it's out shopping with Rhonda to revamp your mogul wardrobe with $1,000 in spending money. Then it's off to face the paparazzi as you escort Rhonda to the Hollywood premiere of a Paramount film. We'll even supply Nestle's money for the movie. To enter, send a postcard with your name, address, age, and daytime phone number to Nestle Movie Mogul Sweepstakes, P.O. Box 3966, New York, New York, 10185. Sound like too much glamour? Enter, but only if you can handle the fame. Well, we're reaching the end of another great evening here on the Santa Barbara set, where love and romance nourish the American public on the boob tube. Speaking of love and romance, do you think Chrissy's confession that she wanted to remain a virgin until she was married had anything to do with Bill asking her to marry him? Hmm. You'll soon find out in Getting Lucky on USA Up All Night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, because I'm leaving. Thank you so much. In the meantime, everyone's been great, and Rhonda's on her way home. Rhonda, your Hollywood star here on USA, up all night. Well, it looks like it's going to be another happy ending. Bill rescues Chrissy from Tony, and they ride off into the sunset. Ah, don't ever expect to get happy endings like that in a soap opera. Some things can never get resolved. They just keep going and going and going, just like these commercials. I'm snuggling in with you right now because that's what your bedtime buddy does best. Yes, it's Ron here in USA up all night. And just as I said, getting lucky can happen. The only thing is, you might have to get married first. But there's nothing the matter with that. Well, next week we're going to be showing the American Drive-In and Hamburger, the motion picture. Ooh, those two movies are sure to fill you up. Mm, yummy, yummy, yummy. But now remember, stay with Wanda right now because we're going to our third film, Kingdom of the Spiders. Now remember, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda. Up! All night. <laughs>